Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there. One guy shimas. Let's go see mom and dad. <laughs> Hey, this is my sister. <laughs> Hello. Jordan. I'm the yeah. cameraman. Camera woman. Camera woman for today. <laughs> yeah, camera woman for Okinawa. Hell yeah. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey there. <laughs> hey there. We're in Okinawa, Japan. Visiting the Shurji Castle. Great. <laughs> Go see mom and dad. <laughs> All right. What's up? Tell me if you wanted to stop. Um, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, it's JJ and welcome to this authentic yet awkward family vlog in Okinawa, Japan. Okinawa is a beautiful and unique part of Japan, located in the southernmost part of the country, and it's kind of known as the Hawaii of Japan. Here, our family is visiting the Shuri Castle, which is located in Naha, which is the capital of Okinawa. It was first built in the late 1300s, and it was destroyed and rebuilt several times due to war and fire. Although it was very windy on this day, it was a great place to see the whole landscape of Okinawa. Are you filming? Yes. Sorry, I didn't tell you. There's a... There's a Japanese woman wearing traditional clothes in this picture. Cool. Looks nice. Looks nice? Yep. Okay. You gotta show that. I know. Oh. Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Thank you I later found out on Google Translate that Onegaishimasu means please in Japanese. And Arigato gozaimasu is thank you very much in Japanese. I'm sure most of you know. And make sure to master your Japanese just like how I did. Or you can download Google Translate and download Japanese so that you can use it for ordering food or asking for directions. You always be ready? I, yeah. No, because like when you fail, I have to think of things to say, but I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Because I couldn't think of anything to say, you can enjoy this beautiful landscape of Okinawa from the Shuri Castle. Compared to Seoul, South Korea, Okinawa didn't have that many high-rise buildings, which made it feel very homely, and I like that there is a lot of nature in Okinawa. I was surprised to see so many tropical trees in Okinawa. Kitty kitty. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hotel room in Okinawa. Very Japanese style. Day two of Okinawa. Let's go. Okinawa is known for its beef and steak, so we had a lot of steak in Okinawa. Japanese Wapari steak. Next up, we're going to the Churaumi Aquarium. And the word Churaumi means beautiful ocean in the Okinawan dialect. This manatee was pretty cute and it was really enjoying its carrots and cabbages. Sharks gotta eat too, so they were enjoying their squids. Churaumi is known for its whale shark, and the whale shark is actually the world's largest species of fish. And the aquarium's goal is to successfully breed these whale sharks, which has never been done in aquariums. 
Enjoy it? Yep. Now it looks like we've only eaten steak in Japan, which is not true at all. I think sushi is one of the most halves in Japan, and we love the conveyor belt sushi, but we just didn't record it on vlog because we were too busy eating. Due to the aging population, there's not many workers who can work, so a lot of the restaurants that we went to had vending machines where you put in coins or cash and you choose the menu that you want, and there is one server who does everything. I think Korea is going to follow a pretty similar trend because we're an aging population. Well, anyways, uh, let's talk about the steak. I think it was great because there's so many different variety of sauces to choose from and not just A1 steak sauce. And I really like that the steak is served with white rice. There's a saying in Korean which is rice is power. So you gotta eat rice to be powerful. Anyways, I have no idea what I'm talking about because I'm really sleepy. But I promised myself to finish this editing before I go to sleep. I don't know if this is entertaining or funny only to my family, but please let me know if you think so as well. If you've gotten this far into the video, congratulations because you caught me eating coleslaw and some rice, which is a big win. Yeah, I don't think mukbang is the way to go for me, but at least I gave it a try. Hope you liked this video. Bye bye bye.